very much for accepting to be my preaching guy. Alright? Soon I will introduce you to my king's men and the king makers. Okay? Listen. I promise to make you the happiest woman on the planet Earth. What did I just hear? What did you just hear? Huh? You chose my woman as your virgin bride. What, what are you talking about? Because I told you she's a virgin. I swear to the gods of this land, you will never succeed. <laughs> of attacking them. I greet you all. <coughs> Please, can someone explain to me what is going on here? <coughs> Where is my father? My friends. That which is greater than the Buddha has entered is for. Use your tongue to count your teeth. It is obvious that the great Iroko tree has fallen. It is very sad and unfortunate that the king of Hara did all his best to, to survive in order to see your person upon his service. He tried to survive in order to make it to celebrate your passing out from his service, but unfortunately, he could not make it. It's obvious that he, the evil Ochoa Zon killing a war of attack kingdom has joined his ancestors.
frustration all over me. Who do I tell? Who do I run to now? Dad. For how long am I going to wait for Lisa to get married and free me from this bondage? How long? I have virtually lost three suitors who came to ask for my hand in marriage, all in the name of what? Tradition. Tradition, Dad. And now you and Mom want me to sit down, sit down, fold my arms, and allow Alex to sleep out of my hand. For your information, this young man is ready to pay for my bride price before he travels back. <laughs> my daughter, I understand how you feel, but we need to respect our tradition and custom. For crying out loud, for how long? I am sick and tired of waiting for Lisa to marry before me. I am sick and tired. You people should persuade her. Persuade her, else. Else what? <laughs> Else you do otherwise, since you want to be faster than your shadow. I hope you know the consequences of such act. Dad, did you hear that? Lisa, be quiet and be reasonable. You are 29 and you'll be 30 by next year. And I hope you know the implications of you being in your parents' house without getting married at the age of 30. The entire people of Obodeze Kingdom will not allow you to get married. I listen, let me tell you. When you are not married at the age of 30, you will not marry again. And you may single for the rest of your life. Oh. And your birthright will be given to your younger sister by your mother. Now, think twice, be reasonable, and stop deceiving yourself. Lisa, you is at your father. Dad. I will never lose Alice. Never! Never! It's not possible. Prince, when are you coming back? The pressure is getting worse. My, my sister can't even get married with, before me. She can't even get married if I don't get married. You need to come back and pay my bride price. Have I not tried? Have I not tried? You have to come and do something, please. Hurry up with it, please. Adam, hey. this matter shouldn't have kept you dejected, eh? You have been told about Obodeze's culture, eh? We expect you to... Mom, uh, Mom please. Why we left alone? What sort of demonic culture is this? Can't this tradition be amended? What is all this? What is all this... this rubbish? Adam, if something is bothering you, you can confide in me. I'm your mother. Please tell me. Is it all about the prince that proposed marriage to you? Eh? You can forget about him and marry another man. You will not understand me. You will not understand. Adam, you are 29. To be 30 next year. And you know what that means. Huh? Please, you cannot continue to love a man who couldn't even understand our tradition.
you know, this one have killed them. You are less hard than with not have died. See them. When I called him yesterday, he told me he was fine. He never told me he was sick. Though I have the feeling that something was wrong. We discussed how he would celebrate my return, only for me to come back to receive the most unpleasant shock of my life. We are in pains. It is my late husband that we are talking about. You know I am the one suffering it most. Hmm? My heart has been injured. Instead of you to help me heal the wound, you are adding salt to the injury. Why? Please, Mother, I, I am sorry. I am sorry, hmm. please. I didn't know he would make me a widow this soon. <sighs> it's okay, mother. I promise I will always take care of you. We are going to miss you. It's okay. Lisa, I am so, so sorry for making you feel this way. I allowed my emotion get over me. I'm sorry. Did you know I turned down Alice's proposal today? Yes, he proposed to me and I turned him down. I even ran away. And he has been calling me. But I've not been picking. Yes, but Lisa, why is it that you do not want to get married to any other person except Prince Charles? I lost my virginity. What? What did you just say? How? Prince Charles took it. Jesus Christ. When? Prince Charles, I can accept your relationship. I don't know anything about love. And we are too young for this, please. This we are eating on you. My love for you is real. This I accept me in your life and I'll do anything for you. Hey, hello, boy. Have at the back of your mind that I came from a very wealthy family. I know. But money is not everything when it comes to love. My love for you is pure. It's alright, I'll accept it. You're still going to promise me they're going to be the good boys they used to be. I know for sure that you're very intelligent. But you're going to stop associating with poor and Chinobi. Promise me to stop associating with them. Those two are the bad eggs you have in this school. And I don't want them to influence you. Please. It's alright. I'll be happy as you say. I'll be happy as you Lisa. I'm so lucky to have Charles as your boyfriend. You know he's a dream country for all the girls in this school. Enki, what's so special about Charles? I only accepted him so I could help him stop associating with Paul and Chinedu. Those two are not good people. Okay? Well, you said it all. Obviously, you're in love with this guy. That is why you want the best for him. Mm -hmm. You're so romantic. What? Stop. Can you two just stop discussing this nonsense? What is wrong with you? See, I am highly disappointed at the both of you. Can you imagine our parents sent us to boarding school to reach? And we are here discussing about this. Gloria, please hold it there. What's your own? Please, why do you like interfering in other people's affairs? I know you're holier than Virgin Mary, but please. Mind your business. Thank you. Mind your business. May God have mercy on you too. See, eh? that girl must be stupid to have said such a thing about her. Why would she regard you as the bad ex in this room? 
She don't forget to wipe it. She don't forget to wipe it. She do The Inspector General for the school. Charles, why would you allow her to vomit such now? For whom do you want to ban the Charles, you were meant to, 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 to protect this brotherhood. What's in the shop now? Guys, you guys should calm down now. You guys should calm down too. Be chon do diao. Be chon do diao. Calm down for waiting. Upon, upon everything where she talk eh? See, that bad egg where she call me eh? That bad egg where she call you eh? That bad egg go break and you go smell. See, you guys should calm down and reason with me. You guys should calm down and reason with me. I did what I did to achieve my, my intentions over her now. Uh -uh. You guys, guys, she's coming. Calm down, what is done? See, I want you guys to stay away from me. Stay away from me. I don't associate with you guys again now. See, let this be the first and the last time you I will see the both of you around me again. Because of this thing. Chai! Chai, stop it at you. He's a good actor. <laughs> actor. I'm so happy for what you did out there. I'm not convinced and I'm so proud of you. Whatever thing I did out there, I did it for love. I believe you and I love you too. Striker. <laughs> 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 so you have to be there. I didn't even know that day is that cheap. Oh. My dear. I never believe that girl doing a bit. Okay, oh. bro. I love that girl. That. Let's go straight to business. We have a hit this evening. Paul, hope you can remember that man now. Back of the gate now. Two gates now. Hey, that man is rich. I see now you enter for the man. Let's show them some love. One love. One love. Charles. Charles, no do that in the door. 7 p.m. on the door. What you have to do there, dear? No need of wasting time again. Four, oh, bring two scumbags. You understand? I got your back. What is it? Why are you crying? It's one thing. It's one time you're crying. Stop, leave me alone, please. Let me be. Let me be. I can't let you be. You're my friend. Why are you crying? Just like, okay, you have to calm down now. You have to calm down. Maybe you don't want to talk about it now. You have to stop crying, please. Why are you just leave me alone? Why are you just leave me alone? Please. Leave me. Let me be, please. Lisa. Seriously, I don't really understand this. I met Lisa outside crying. What is your business? Can you stop interfering in my business for crying out loud? Mind your business, please. It's my life and it's my private life. You heard that. Mind your business. It's her private life. But, Lisa, I think it's high time I talk to the daughter of life. We are here to learn and not to follow boys around. What's that your uh, uh, friend's name, Charles? Who is even sure he's not the one that broke your heart? <laughs> Please, let's enter inside. The break, break is, is over. over. Oh, 
Why are you crying with my photograph? Really? How dare you betray me? Do you know how painful it is? Do you know how painful it is? You made me love you, you made me believe that you're going to stop talking to Chinedu and Pro. What did you do in return? What did you do in return? I saw you talking to them. Thank you for hurting me. I don't blame you. I blame you love. Lisa, is that why you slapped me? Do you realize who I am? Yes, I'm the crown prince of our kingdom. Yes, I deserve some respect. Also. <laughs> Charles, how did you get into the female hostel? I sneaked in, my love. See, I, I need your help. I don't want to be caught by the police. Police? What did you do? Did you do anything? What is happening? Yes, I did. Like, I should have listened to you. Paul and Chini really influenced me. Like, we had to rob one of the houses at the back of the school oh. gate. And police caught Paul and Chini. Please, I don't I need to escape in my life. I don't want to be caught by the police. Please. Please. Charles, why will you do this? You came from a very rich home. A wealthy family at that and a royal family. Why would you do this, Charles? I'm Why? sorry. I'm My sorry. God. I'm sorry. See, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At least I can't. I need money. I need money to just. I need to run out. I need to run away from here. I need to run away from here. Like, I need to run away. Please. I need money. Please. Please. Help your loved one. Please. 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 I gave him 15,000. That was my, that was my savings. And then he escaped with it. I couldn't get a hold of him. The, the police looked for him. He was nowhere to be found. His parents flew him abroad and they lied to the police that he was missing. And since then, Prince Charles has been afraid of coming back. How could you? How could you allow yourself to fall for Prince Charles? So what next? What are you going to do now? I don't know. I am confused. I'm so confused. I'm sorry. I'm the reason you rejected no, the proposal. It's okay. I'll explain to you. It's, it's okay. It's I'm okay. so sorry. Stop. Stop. Please. I'm sorry. Your dad was a good king. He was a father to all. My prayer is for his soul to rest in peace. You see... Please accept my condolences. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. How about a friend near the um, I spoke with her last night. She will be busy. Alright, thank you. Sir. I hope you end up with her at the cup. <laughs> well, if the gods permit, it will surely come to pass. The gods be with you. Amen. Please drink up, okay? <laughs> Before the very arrangement of your late father. Splendid. Ever since he traveled to abroad, he never wanted to come back. This time around, he won't have any excuse. I really miss him. I can't wait to see him. Greet my queen. Greet my queen. The lady named Mirabel seek to see you again. Of 
right? Please go tell her that uh, I will see her soon. I can't wait to see her. Greeting, my queen. Greeting, my queen. The lady named Mirabo seek to see the king. Alright. Please go tell her that uh, I will see her soon. Okay. Son, you haven't told me about your ambition to this Mirabel of Persia. Mother, don't be too quick. See, I will tell you everything when the right time comes. It is a promise. All right, let me go and see her. See you soon then. It is hard to find. Mama Bia Kenelio. A Pugomo. Where do I find the love of my life? I need you. God has finally answered my prayer. Wow. And what happened? Prince is coming back in two days' time. Oh my God! Yes. That's a good news! I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, what? what's wrong? Why the sudden change of mood? Yeah, he said he lost his dad. Oh. And that, um, I mean, he grew up at a point. Mm. He's, he loved him so much. Oh. And he's, he was a great father. Mm. He's a pity. Yes. May his soul rest in peace. Mm. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, Alex, I'm so sorry I was carried away. It's okay, I understand. Um, Alex, I want to officially apologize on behalf of my sister. I mean, what she did, she did a big curse of me. But not to worry, my man will be back in two days' time, so you two can afford. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> that's our prayer. That's our prayer. Mm. Um, sweetie, uh, I hope you are no longer mad at me. No, I'm not mad at you. Of course, you know I love you. I love you too, darling. <laughs> Come, let's go inside. Right. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> He was a kind man. He was a king for everybody. He was always ready to assist everyone who needed his support. <laughs> the widows are all crying because the late king was so good to them. I just pray he's so rest in peace. Amen. Amen. You know. My happiness today is many people have testified his good heart. He was the best father and the best king I've ever known. I am really proud of him and I wish I can take after him. It is written all over you, my prince. You are a replica of your late father. You always held everyone strong to your heart, both the rich and the poor. Just continue with it, my prince. Your father will be very happy. Thank you so much. 
Thank you for your kind words. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your condolence visit. You're welcome, my friends. Mama, why are you bringing up this topic again? I've told you that Prince Ken is a good man. He has a good heart like his late father. Or oh, have you forgotten he promised to train me in the university? Remember, don't compromise love out of sentiment. I know he has done a lot for you and still willing to do more. But never you compromise marriage out of sympathy. Mama. Mama, you see, Priscilla is a good man. He sticks to his words. Mama, he respects both the poor and the rich. Hmm? And he loves me. And I love him too. Don't tell me you have slept with him already. May the God forgive. May the God strike me dead if I've ever given any man my virginity. Oh no, Mama. Don't be reckless with your words. I forbid that word that came out of your mouth. Don't you ever swear with your virginity. But Mama, that is the only way I can prove my innocence. Yes, I believe you. Because I know I raised you well. I know. Hmm? My daughter, Mama, so be careful. I will. You have to be careful. Okay. I'm coming. It is hard to find. Mama, be a canelio. A fugu mo. Where do I find the love of my life? I see true love. I see disaster. I see hate. I see betrayal and revelation. I can't really define your daughter's destiny with Prince Ken. Those two love each other. But I can perceive danger. Danger? Should I stop her from getting close to the prince? Never. Those two can never be separated. Never. Those two can never be separated. It seems your daughter will play a vital role in the palace to cleanse the dent of the past. She will bring crisis to the royal hood and she will equally bring progress. 
<clears throat> Akrika, please clarify her destiny with the prince so that I can... Woman, I will advise you to allow the will of the gods to be done. Allow the will of the gods to be done. Eh we la wa do ya no na mi ri o la la nu e Eh we la do ya no na mi ri o la la ne wo Eh we la do ya no na mi ri o la bele o Lisa my daughter Um since your fiance is back I think you should pay him a condolence visit Yeah I actually have that in mind Mm I can see <laughs> at last I'm happy to see my daughter brush. Look at her. Hey! Are you in here? Uh huh. Oh, you're in it. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, can you just stop teasing me already? Oh, you are blushing. Ah, shut up. It's the sad thing is that, I mean, the death of um, his father really weighed him down. You know, and I really pray that the gods will give them the fortitude to bear this loss. Amen. The elders will come tomorrow for your father's daily arrangement. They demand that you must come back before they return. That's a good thing I'm here already. That deserves a defeating bearer. That's unfortunate. My heart is soaked with tears. I came home to see my father, only to meet his demise. That's so painful. We are all affected, my son. No, no, no. I am more affected. I've been a bad son to father. I've been a very, very bad son. But all the same, Father loved me with all his heart. I was hoping I'll come home to beg for his forgiveness, but no. That took him away so fast. Too bad. My son, there's always a moment of happiness and sadness. Your father loved all his children equally. He has even forgiven you long ago. The best you will offer him now is to follow his footsteps. I will try my best, Mom. I will make Father proud. Thank Yo, baby. Um, I want to say thank you again for accepting my proposal. Huh? You're always welcome, my love. <laughs> I'm thank happy you. that I'm all yours now. I'm happy too. I'm happy too. <laughs> uh, come here. <laughs> so, all I'll right. see you. Oh, oh. Yeah, sure. Take care of yourself. Sure. Hmm? And you too. Okay, bye. All right. <laughs>
searched around the world. I searched around the world, yet I couldn't find you. I am so restless. If you know I'm What is wrong with you? You have been like this since yesterday and it's beginning to worry me. There's nothing to worry about. Baby. Mama, when did you start hiding things from me? And what do you think I possibly have to hide from you? Nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. Please, I want to be left alone. Left alone. She's hiding something from me. I think something is wrong with her. I will definitely find out. Mm -hmm. I'll find out. My friends, I set our condolence and we wish you peace, love, and love. Just know that we are solidly behind you. We have our support in everything. Especially now we are mourning. Okay? And that's a fact. Thank you very much. My dear, my heart grows to you all at this difficult time. I'm wishing you all the best. And you know you have my full support. Hmm? It's often hard to find the right words to you at a time like this. May you all have peace, comfort, and all the joy in the years to come. Yeah. My friends, I pray that the gods will give you all joy and peace. And I also pray that the gods will give you all the fortitude to be of this great loss. Your father was indeed a great man. And he loved you so much. My friends, please accept my sincere condolences. Thank you all very much. Thank you. You know, finally, the miles between us has disappeared. I'm so happy to have you here with me. If you want to know how much I missed you, try to catch raindrops. Oh. The ones you catch is how much you miss me. Oh, wow. And the ones you miss is how much I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, meeting you was fake. And falling helplessly in love with you was totally out of my control. You are the one whom my heart finds. You are the one whom my mind reminds me. You are the one whom my destiny wants. And I love you so much. I believe every word that comes from you. You shouldn't do this. And you should pay your daddy's last respect. 
You never back down on your principles. Thank you for being such a woman. Great elders of my land, I really appreciate you all for your efforts, contributions, and support towards my father's burial. May the gods bless you all. My prince, our king was very good. He deserves more than we did for him. As a matter of fact, everybody in our kingdom knew that he was a very wonderful king. What we are asking is for his soul to rest in perfect peace. Um, please, I want you all to exercise patience with my mother and my brother. They will soon join us. No problem. Wise one, to what do we owe this sudden visit? I know why I asked the elders to step aside. Because this message is strictly for the royal family. A toll does not run in broad daylight or not. It's either you pursuing something or something is pursuing it. I'm only a messenger of the gods. I'm here to deliver a message to all of you, as demanded by the gods. A message? So what could that be? I The gods demand that Prince Charles was marry a virgin or we will lose the throne. And what do you mean by that? You must marry a virgin to be qualified to be the next king of this great land. If you mistakenly, I repeat, 
if you mistakenly marry a woman that has been deflowered, you will lose the tone to your brother without any compromise. But why? Ever since the customs and traditions of this land, such demands has never been given to the previous royal family. Why ours now? Ajuzogwe, Iba Mandemwa. Ajuzogwe, Iba Mandemwa. Enuna na Ajuzogwe, Iba Mandemwa. Ajuzogwe, Iba Mandemwa. I'm only a messenger of the gods that have delivered my message. Take note, if you go contrary to this, you all will face the wrath of the gods. Prince Ken, why would Prince Ken try to rape you in your dream? What could be the interpretation of this dream? Mm, I'm very much confused. Come here. Come. Rest your head. You know what you do for me now? You go inside and rest your head, okay? Just be careful. Be careful. Hmm. The past is gradually coming back to hurt my daughter. Should I tell her about the past? No. Some pasts are better left untold. How did he go with your brother? Mother. Charles is very devastated. He doesn't want to believe a single word that came out from Akrika's mouth. He even called him a bloody liar. He vehemently condemned Akrika's message. I would advise Charles not to mock the descent of the gods. He cannot go against their will. He cannot. You are right, mother. But I'm afraid what this may amount to. Yes, from my observation, he thinks I am applying politics. He is perceiving a foul play of which I tried to correct him, but he pushed me out of his room. He did? Yes, he did. He pushed you out of his room? Yes, he did. Mother, you have to go and talk to him. He is your son. Go and talk to him. That is exactly what I'm going to do. How can Charles be behaving like this? Eh? We don't have to lose this throne. We cannot. You have to, if it warrants you to break the door, break the door and talk to him. I don't know why he doesn't want you to talk to him. Oh, he did something very drastic. You 
see this Mia Bell over here. She's a green snake under the green grass. Yeah? From the look of things, she has charmed Prince Kenny. She keeps visiting him without notice. Huh? Oh, what is your problem with Daddy? Eh? Everything is the problem with her. In fact, I hate that girl. I hate the fact that Prince Ken keeps giving her much attention. Huh? Wait. Are you jealous? What kind of a stupid question is that? Because I'm here to see where your anger is coming from. Well, it's over that you don't have to die. You are senseless, you are very stupid. Because without being told, you don't know that I'm the only outstanding and beautiful medal that is meant for me. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> keep dreaming. <laughs> I should keep dreaming at least. I don't blame I you dream. because you don't have you don't have sense. You don't have sense. Outstanding. It's not your fault, it's my fault. I'm the one that is my fault. Why will the gods take such decision? Oh, careful. The gods knows better than us. I believe in full sure we will comprehend why they make such decision. Hmm. Anyway, who are we to question the decision of the gods? The ways of the gods are not the ways of men. Hmm. That is okay. Well, that is true. Hmm. Someday we'll. Hmm. This is unbelievable. I have never had such a thing in the history of this kingdom. You are right. Akrika has been a faithful mouthpiece of the gods to this land. He has been faithful to us. And I think his message should be taken seriously. But from what you told me, your brother is in a serious relationship. What if she's not a virgin? That is where I am having a very big problem with my brother. He thinks I plotted this with Akrika. What? Yes, I know how his mind works. Everything to him is a competition. He can be very selfish and insensitive. You know, there is no competition in destiny. I can remember when he was always jealous of the way your parents praises a good character. All I just want is to make peace with my brother. I pray to the gods of this land to give me the wisdom to handle this. I feel your pain, bro. Don't worry. The gods of our land will hear your cry. Thank you. Mother, it's time you want Charles. It's time you caution him because I've had enough of his excesses. Can you imagine? He is now referring me as a green snake under a green grass. Why would he have such negativity about me? Why? Your brother prefers the throne to his life. I don't understand you, mother. I will explain to you later. <coughs> mother, what is he going to do now? I mean, this is not a good news. Are you asking me? He has to take the best decision for his life. He can't be playing with his life. And um, it's obvious that your brother is going to lose the throne. So my son, start preparing yourself to ascend the throne. Mother, this is not a good news. What is he going to do? That's the only immediate action we have to take and nothing else. We must serve the throne, you know. Charles. 
Charles, why? True friends are like diamonds. They are very rare and true. Fake friends are like leaves. They are scattered everywhere. You know, I'm so lucky to have you. And I want to say thank you for everything. God bless you. You are welcome. I'm Mirabel. My prince. When I think of future, I picture us like two trees planted side by side, growing together so strong and firmly. While our children sprouting like Sydney's, you know, life offers us many challenges and i am willing to face them if you are ready mirabel yes. you know how we met you know how our relationship started i have been sincere and genuine to you i have never for one day thought of taking advantage of you I actually want to use this opportunity to open up to you. My beautiful dancer, will you be the mother of my children? Will you marry me? My prince, I have no response now. But I just want you to be patient with me. Just give me some time. I want to think about it, please. All right, uh, all right, no problem. No problem, um, please um, don't forget to extend my greetings to your mom, okay? I will. Alright then, I have to go. Mm -hmm. My prince, <laughs> my prince. My prince, you are a kind man. You have a heart of gold. I have no reason to doubt your true love for me. But I just want you to be patient. Just give me some time to think about it. Okay? I just want you to be patient with me. I need to think about it and be sure that I truly want this. Okay? All right. Uh, now you understand you. Okay, my friends. Take care of yourself. I will. All right. I see. Oh, my good afternoon. Hi. Who brought all this? My priest Ken brought all these things for us. Wow! He's such a nice man. Ha. May the gods bless him. He say. May his pocket never dry. He say. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, but let's take them in. Let's take them in. Hey! Yes, so. Now, wow. 
okay with everything you're saying here. Let me carry this one. Enjoy it. Oh, bless you. The kind one. to be very careful I have to think about it thoroughly before accepting his proposal my prince what Ono told you is nothing but the truth Akrika the mouthpiece of the gods never lied to this land and nobody plays with the gods of this land. That is our problem. That is the issue. So how am I supposed to achieve my dreams? The gods of Obodeze will strike me dead if I leave Misa. Mazi Okoro. My prince. I do not want to lose that throne. I went to do know, but he claimed to be a principled man. That is why I'm here. Because I know you, and your family needs money. And I have money. I mean, lots of money to throw around. I am willing to give you any amount of money just to get to that throne. And I know you can help me. Money is everything. Of okay. course. My friends, don't worry. But why would she turn down your proposal? You have done nothing but to genuinely love her. Oh, Victor. You know Mirabel. She is a very smart girl. She is a wise girl. Maybe she don't want to make a hasty decision you know marriage is not something we jump into you have to be fully prepared both physically and mentally before you go into it you know my relationship with her how it started i never had the intention to cut her my mission was just to help her family but as time goes by I began to fall in love with her. Maybe she thinks I want to take advantage of her. But you genuinely love her. And she should know. Could it be she has another man in her life? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go there. I know Mirabel very well. I can vouch for her. Yes, she has no one. She has nobody. I am going to wait until she accepts my proposal. I will wait. She will. My son, what is bothering you again? Who else if not Charles? Charles doesn't want to admit the fact that I care about him. He thinks I want to take the throne away from him. 
was hitting that thing. That is because I begged him to marry Lisa. He wants to break up with her. What? Is he out of his mind? He should be out of his mind. Why would he break up with Lisa, knowing the danger that may come after him? Mother, you know I have never had any interest on the throne. My concern is what is at stake. I don't want to lose my brother. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. Mother, you need to see the way he speaks with so much confidence that Lisa's tradition is not going to haunt him. Eh? Yes. He thought that way? Hey. He said that he has settled everything, that nothing bad is going to happen to him. Lie. Big lie. Hey, Charles, why is he like this? Thank you. Oh no, where are May the gods forbid. This is an abomination. Who gave him the gods to meet you for backup? And he had the impetus to bribe you. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know what his intention was, but all I can say is that uh, I thank the ghost that he did not succeed. Yes, I thank the ghost he didn't succeed. Prince Charles should have known by now that the ghost of our ancestors cannot be joked with. Why is he risking his life? You ask me, whom will I ask? The only thing I will tell all of us here, including myself, is that we should wary of Prince Charles so that he doesn't deceive and corrupt us with his money. That's all. No. As for me, oh, as for me, mm. Prince Charles oh, cannot deceive me with his evil money. I'm telling you. You know, we know my integrity. anything to happen to my son. I don't want Charles dead. Why would he take a drastic decision that would destroy his life? Eh? Why? Mother, I am also worried about him. But he doesn't care about our feelings. He doesn't care about our emotions. All he care about is himself, just himself. Oh, that Lisa fought for Charles. Huh? That girl sacrificed the Lord for Charles. Because of her land. Why have you allowed it to become my family? Lisa, stop punishing yourself. You still have the chance and hope to fulfill your dreams. Marriage is not the only thing you desire. Come on. Listen to me, my daughter. If you like, you go and commit suicide. It's none of my business. If you had behaved yourself in the past, all this nonsense wouldn't have happened to you. Don't husband me! 
And as for that scanner, that idiot who called himself Prince Charles, so full of him, you need to see how he's so full of himself. Eh? In fact, let him go and prepare his own burial, his own funeral. Because I will soon take you to the village to go and perform all the necessary rituals as our custom demands. And he will go down to his six feet. Eh? Better talk to her. Ha, because I don't have time for all this nonsense. My prince. What is wrong with your brother? Why is he putting his life at risk? Look, he brought this upon himself. Why would he take her virginity knowing the customs and tradition of her land? The whole thing is spinning my head. Honestly speaking, I don't know how to advise him again. I don't know why my brother has chosen to turn a blind eye on this, knowing fully well what this may amount to. Don't be hard on yourself and let the will of the gods be done. see him come out with you. Um, Lisa, I am sorry. He locked himself up in his room. It's obvious he didn't want to see you. But I, I want to talk to him. Maybe, maybe if I talk to him, uh, he will have a change of mind. Maybe, maybe I, just let me go inside and talk to him. Please. I'm sorry. He's not going to work. I wish I can convince him to come and sort out things with you. Oh, you are his brother. You can talk to him. There is nothing I can do. So that's it? So that's it? Like it's over? He's going to kill me like that? I have to keep it myself for him? Sorry, I can't do anything. Please. It is hard to find. Mama bia kenelio. Apugo mo. Where do I find the love of my life? I need you. I need you. I am so restless. If you know more, if you know Hello, my prince. Now? Okay, my prince. I'll be there right away. Yes. Now, now. I'm coming. <clears throat> For how long have you been here? And why is he inviting you? <laughs> Mama, I'm an adult. I have to go. He's calling me. I'm going Where do I find the love of my life? I need you. I need you.
champion. Dashed around the world. He is still avoiding your cause, right? Yes, ma'am. And he activated it on busy mood. Hmm. This is getting out of hand. It is her time I force her sister to do the right thing. Hey? Eh? This boy called Prince has done more harm than good in this family. It's hard eh? to find. Mama bia kenelio. Akugomo. Where do I find the love of my life? I need you. My friends, hey. so what do I owe this unexpected visit? Mazo Koro, I'm tired. I am seriously tired. I mean, I have searched everywhere for a virgin to make my wife all to no avail. Mazo Koro, I've searched the new and crannies of this village. I've searched everywhere. As a matter of fact, the village is there even worse than the city. I searched everywhere, including the church. Mazo Koro, no virgin. What about the one you gave to me last night? Mm -hmm. That one was worse. Basin! GP tank! Mazio Koro! Okay, my friends, let's sit down. This is not a matter of sitting down. It's a matter of doing something right now to get a virgin to make my wife because I'm running out of time. Well, I think we will search around the village. Did you even hear me the first time? I said I've searched everywhere in this village. The only place I didn't look for a virgin is the, 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 the shrine. Even for myself, I've searched you just as you told me. But I couldn't get any. Oh, what, is, what is going on? It's a problem. No virgin anywhere. It's a problem. These girls have become something else. Hmm? Huh? These girls have turned to something else. This is a pure definition of a hookup generation. Huh? I think so. We, we need to do something ASAP. We seriously need to do something ASAP. I'm running out of time. My prince, I think I have an idea. And what could this idea be, please? Good afternoon. Okay. I'm here to see Prince Ken. He sent for me. Okay. Let me quickly inform you. The patient with you. Okay, that'll be nice. Come in. The door is open. Greetings, my police. May I say you sent for her? Yes, yes. Um, I told her to come. Please bring her in immediately. Okay, my police. All right. Okay, dear. The prince says she's coming. Take me to him. Alright. Okay. Wow. You look like a goddess. Thank you. Your beauty can lead someone into temptation. Please, 
make yourself comfortable. Sit well. Okay. All right. Yeah. I like what I'm saying. You do? Yes. I just pray he proposes marriage to me right away. I can't wait to say yes now. So, how is your mother? Oh, she's fine. My prince. Is it for me? I hope all is well. Yes, of course. All is well. Okay. Mm. Well, actually, I have a surprise for you. But first of all, I want you to drink up. Yeah. A surprise? Okay. I can't wait to see the surprise then. <laughs> it's hard yeah, to find. <laughs> Well, um, um, so, so how are you feeling? I need you. Drink up. So Shasu, you know you have been unable to get a virgin girl to marry. The elders are mounting praise on you to find a virgin girl and marry so that you will take over the throne. Mom, everything is fine now. I found a girl. A virgin girl. A virgin girl. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay, you have gotten a virgin girl for marriage. Alright. That's the good news. Uh, okay. No problems. Hmm. Uh, finally. Since you have decided not to make love to me, <laughs> I am going to start doing <laughs> this. Tell him to do such. Prince Kai used to be a very nice man. 
You know, not all that glitters is gold. Human beings are dynamic in nature. That's why they change at any time. You cannot predict human behaviors. Hmm? Well, thanks to the gods, my daughter escaped his evil shadows. Prince Charles, thank you for bringing her home. It's all right. You're welcome. Um, I'm sure she's still in shock. I'll need you to take good care of her. Okay. All right? And please, do not take this to the police. Okay? Um, here. This is for you. Huh? Oh, my Manage that money. Ah, my prince, this is too much. It's nothing. It's all Thank for you. Thank you so much. All right? May You're welcome. God bless you. And bless you too. Take good care of yourself. Thank you, we are grateful. Okay. See, Moni. What? Mama, you allowed yourself to be bribed. I swear on the gods, I will arrest him. My daughter, calm down. You see, to fight against the rich people is not as easy as you think, oh. Please, calm down. Thanks to the gods, you escaped his evil plans. Please, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Carry your bag, I beg. Stand up. Mama, I swear with my life, I didn't know what came over me. I can't even imagine myself forcing myself on a woman I love with all my heart. Please, I want you to help me beg Mirabel to forgive me. I really want her forgiveness. Hey, Prince Ken. If not for your brother, if not for your brother, we would have reported this matter to the police. Biko, leave my house. Don't come and add salt to injury for me. Please. Leave my house, oh! Mama, why can't you just understand me? I told you I didn't know what came over me. It wasn't intentional. I didn't know what happened to me. Please help me beg your daughter. What are you still I... doing here? Eh? Who wants to slice you? Hey, 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 hey. Mira, hey, 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 hey. Mira, I beg what you, are you doing I beg you, leave me alone. Mira, please, please. Get out! You. Beg you, Mira, I will slice you like fresh onions. Fool! Hey. Give Mama? me the cutlass. I don't want to see this idiot in this house again. It's okay. Give me the I don't want to see him in this house. I'm not giving you anything. Mama, stay out of this. Hey. If I see you here again, I'll cut this your two left legs. Hey. Mugu. Fool. Are you still there? Hey. Hey. Thank you very much for accepting to be my patient bride. Alright? Soon I will introduce you to my king's men and the king makers. Okay? Listen. I promise to make you the happiest woman on the planet that. What did I just say? What did you just hear? Huh? You chose my woman as your virgin bride. What, what are you talking about? Because I told you she's a virgin. I swear to the gods of this land, you will never succeed. <laughs> succeed on what? What makes her your woman? Are you out of your senses? I can go back to the local bar and go and drink something. You're stupid. Why did you do this? You did this on papers, right? You want to take revenge on me. What are you talking about? Huh? No, what, what, what are you talking about? Frustration and love of me. Who do I tell? Who do I run to now? I'm so confused. Wonder shall never end in this fantasy. <laughs> Why 
Why would that stupid Mirabel choose to marry Prince Charles? Knowing fully well that she has dated his brother Prince Ken. Who does that? My sister, I'm still wondering what they saw in that Mirabel. Like, am I not also a virgin? Why not me? Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Wait, even you? Uh -huh. A virgin? Of course. <laughs> There is nothing I will not see in this fantasy. You, virgin. Of course. Well, the last time I checked, you are nothing but a basin. You dare call me a basin? Uh -huh. What about you that gave your virginity to that your stupid boyfriend, Ike Chuku? Are you not ashamed? May the gods strike that your mouth. Strike it. You are very, very stupid. You are mad. You know what? I don't blame you for coming out here to talk I don't blame you as well. Stupid thing. Rubbish. Frustration and love of me Who do I tell? Who do I run to now? I'm so confused Is my world crashing today? I'm so tired of this life It's hard to find Mama bia kenelio Onye Where do I find The love of my life I need you I need you I need you right now Searched around the world, I searched around the world, yet I couldn't find you. I am so restless. It is hard to find. Mama bia kenelio, apugo mo. So it's been this room all along. Thanks to the gods for revelation to conquer this demon. I think that I'm free now. And I can have peace of mind. How can you have peace of mind when your heart is filled with vengeance? What are you doing here? I am so restless. What are you doing here? You think I don't know you're here to rape me again? But trust me, before you do that, I'll have to kill you first. Mirabel, I know you have been traumatized. I know I wronged you. But choosing my brother isn't the right thing to do. I wish I can reverse the past so I can correct my mistake. But the truth is, I didn't know what came of me. Get out. I'm going to use this voice again. Get out! Get out of here. Mirabel. Have you forgotten what we shared together? Our good memories. You forgot them. I'm going to use this box when you get out of here. Hey, 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 Yo, get out. You know what? It is not over until it is over. I don't care what you're talking about. Just get the hell out. Now. Idiots. Bounce, bro.
What is wrong with you? What is this? You are no longer welcome in this palace. Authorized by whom? By Prince Charles. So this is how you want to play this game, right? No, this is how you want to play this game. <laughs> Give him this. Right now. <laughs> Rest in peace, Prince Charles. Honestly. This is betrayal of the highest order. Why would he do this to you? He's a brother. And Mirabel herself should not have accepted his marriage proposal. We don't have to blame her. Rather, I should blame myself. I shouldn't have had the intention to take advantage of her. But the truth is, I didn't know what came over me. I shouldn't have done what I did. Ken, what happened may not be ordinary. I have known you for a very long time, as well as Mirabel. And I am certainly sure that the both of you did not do this with your clear eyes. I have a strong feeling that something strong is behind this. And I will advise you to meet with Akrika the eyes of the gods to look deep into this matter. So all this while, you have been having an affair with Prince Charles without telling me. Even the Prince Charles himself couldn't tell me. What is all this? Mama, if we had told you about our relationship, he wouldn't have accepted. So we had to keep it a secret. So, you did all this to get back at, at Prince Ken. So this is all about revenge, right? Yeah. Mama, you can call it whatever you like. All I know is that I'm getting married to Prince Charles, and that's on period. Hmm. You see, from what I heard, the gods demand that Prince Charles marry a virgin. Eh? Yeah. Eh? And I am the virgin bride. As simple as it is. Wait a minute, Mama. You still don't believe that I am a virgin? Ha! Huh. Mama, I am so disappointed in you. You go in it, Hmm. You don't know the calamity you are bringing upon yourself. Oh, gods of our land, please help me. Mr. Kingship, I have a message for you. Yes. The God said I should tell you that no matter how hard you try to force yourself on Mirabel, she will never be yours. Just like I told you, Mirabel can never be yours. I'm going to shut up, man. You're drunk. <sighs> Shh. The gods are here. They don't want you to disturb them. Wait a minute. They are passing a message to me. Rest in peace. The gods said I should tell you that you are going to die soon. And when you die, I am going to ascend the throne. Yes, 
I will take the throne away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, this is the significant show that I'm going to ascend it through. <laughs> you get out of this place. Just rest, boy. <laughs> Where's your nose? Where's your always delay? As you know, you know, this thing has been in his attitude. You know who is always late in everything. In that case, I will make you the next you know, with immediate effect, as soon as I become king. Thank you, Major. As I come to you this day to avenge for the daughter of this land who has been defiled by a man who has shown her no love. I have waited patiently to see his repentance, but he chose otherwise. And as I'm performing this remaining ritual, As I perform this ritual, as instructed by the Ezenwanya of this land, let your anger fall upon Prince Charles Nadoze Igweko. Hey, 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 This cannot happen. Wise one, what is it this time? The lady which Prince Charles brought as his virgin bride is not a virgin. How? Oh. Oh, I, 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 are you mad? Eh? No, this small boy. I, I, are you are you mad? You must be mad. I am sure that bush where you live in has intoxicated you with madness. Watch your tongue, young man. Watch your tongue. Any more word. She is not a virgin. And from this day henceforth, Prince Charles is no longer qualified to be the next king 
of this great kingdom. Says who? Says who, this small boy? You see, this is why I don't like this. Wait. You're not a virgin. Speak! I'm a virgin. I don't know what he's talking about. No, excuse me. He just confirmed that you're not a virgin. Hey! I am a virgin. I don't know what he's saying. What are you saying? I don't know what he's saying. After all my hard work. After my hard work to earn the throne. What is this one again? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Confess. Uh, confess what? I supported Charles to marry Mirabel so that he can become the next evil by all means. Hey. What? I am willing to give you any amount of money just to get to that throne. And I know you can help me. Money is everything. Of okay. course. My prince, don't worry. I know one native doctor that will help you. Once he gives you a spiritual bath, the gods of Obodeza land will never penetrate you. Yes, my prince. Well done, you're making sense. So much sense. Walker only will your car or decay and no Prince, no need of long questions. You have been fortified, and for that reason, you are now a Galagidi one of your kingdom. No sham will come close to you. The power in you is greater than the power that is in your kingdom or any other kingdom. Name it. No, that's what's up. Gee, you already know. It is done. It is settled. You can go. There's a more. Thank you very much. It is settled. I have tied you and Mirabel together. And I have sent Odegrugru Cham to your brother. He will attempt to rape Mirabel. And after that, they will be separated. And Mirabel becomes yours. <laughs> that is the power of Odegrugru. So, no, I'm trying. No, I'm not into that business again. I am now into real estate business. It doesn't matter what you study in school. I'm Arata. I will call you back, okay? 
The door is open. I believe it's my place. Uh, may I have a reason for her? Yes, yes. Um, I told her to come. Please bring her in immediately. Okay, my friends. All right. Let's go. Oh. No. How was my eye open? A bloody snitch from the pits of hell! That's what you are! And you, what the hell are you looking at me like that? Why in God's name are you looking at me like that? Hey, shut up! Shut up! I told you. I told you no matter how hard you force yourself on Mirabel, she will never be yours. Didn't I tell you you will lose the throne? Didn't I tell you I would take the throne away from you? You thought I was drunk. But I was actually under the influence of the gods. You know what? I don't give a fuck what you all think. I don't care what you all do here. I'm done. Alright? I'm out. Fuck you all! My friends, get out. Hmm. I want you to know that girl. Oh, there we go. I want you to know that girl. Where is she going? Leave her alone. This is the third. Where are you? Hey, well, I do you know that me? Oh, la la. His corpse must be thrown. Najofia. Bam. Najofia. I see hate. I see betrayal and revelation. I can't really define your daughter's destiny with Prince Ken. Those two love each other. But I can perceive danger. Danger? Should I stop her from getting close to the prince? Never. Those two can never be separated. Never. Those two can never be separated. It seems your daughter will play a vital role in the palace to cleanse the dent of the past. She will bring crisis to the royal hood and she will equally bring progress. Akrika, please clarify her destiny with the prince so that I can... Woman! I will advise you to allow the will of the gods to be done. <laughs> Mama. 
I can swear with my life. I've never slept with any man before. I am a virgin. <laughs> my daughter, you are not a virgin. <laughs> what are you saying, Mama? Stop saying it. I can't even swear by my father's grave that I am a virgin. Your virginity was taken from you when you were just six. No, Mama. Mama is not you. What? No, Mama, I can't do it. No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> One day, <laughs> an robber came to our house. <laughs> they took all the money we had. <laughs> they shot your father. One of them. One of them raped me. Oh, Mama, no, it's not you. No, no, it's not you, Mama. It's not you. No. No, no, you can't. No, 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 no. You were in coma for some time. I almost lost you. But thanks to my family doctor that saved your life. The two boys were arrested by the police. But the one that raped you escaped. Possible that it's you guys that we arrested couldn't mention the name of the bastard that raped me. Mama, it's not possible. <laughs> Please calm down. You see, they were hardened. They refused to mention the name of the person to be prosecuted. The police that was in charge of the case confirmed that they were under a covenant. They took an oath never to expose each other whenever they are caught. The court later sentenced the two boys to death by hanging. And since then, there has never been a trace of this bastard that raped you. <laughs> oh. Mirabel, yes, your is that you? Yes, your majesty. Yeah. I found this picture on the floor. Ah. <laughs> so who is this? Okay, um, this is uh, Prince Charles, my son. <laughs> when he was young. He looks so handsome, your majesty. Oh, really? Um, you know, handsomeness runs in our blood. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, Your Majesty. I'll mm. I'll be right back. Okay, my dear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't believe this. No. <laughs> I learned the father is a very prominent man in this country. So they used money and closed the case. <laughs> They bribed them all. <coughs> no, I can't believe this. No, 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 I can't believe this. No way. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> this bastard must pay with his life. He has to pay. <laughs> yeah, what are you insinuating? <laughs> Mama, the demon of this photograph. It's Prince Charles. Ah! Yes, he's the one. Ah! But how come you never mentioned this to me? So you knew all along and you hid it from me. No, that's not true, Mirabel. <laughs> what now, Mama? 
<laughs> you see, <laughs> Mirabel, I, I spent all my life with your father in the city. It was after your father's death that his brother took everything we had. I was empty. I had to come down to this village to enable me raise you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mirabel, please forgive me. Because I was scared of telling you the truth. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> Mirabel! Mirabel! Mirabel, where are you going? Mirabel! Mirabel, where are you going? <laughs> Mirabel, go back here! Go back! How do you bash into my room? Jaws, you went too far. So all this while, Mirabel and I has been under your spell. What are we fighting for? As long as I am concerned, there is no competition in destiny. You know, you've got lots of balls to come into my room and say this bullshit right now. You know that, right? I see smiles all over your face. You think the battle is over? You think you've won this war, yeah? Of course. You think you're going to become king? Exactly. I am going to become the next king of this kingdom. Oh, really? Well, let's see how that's going to work. Let's see how that happens. <laughs> son must stay with his life. For what? Talk of the devil. Here he is. <laughs> what is going on here? Mama, please show me the photograph. Let us refresh Is this not your son? Take a look at, the, at this picture. Yes, this is my son. When he was much younger. Okay. But their acquisition, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Lisa, why are you crying with my photograph? Really? How dare you betray me? Do you know how painful it is? Do you know how painful it is? You made me love you, you made me believe that you're going to stop talking to Chinedu and Paul. What did you do in return? What did you do in return? I saw you talking to them. Thank you for hurting me. I don't blame you. I blame love. I guess you have refreshed your memory. Your criminal son raped me when I was six. But it's quite unfortunate that the king bribed the police for them not to arrest him. But you see, today, your road has come to an end. Hey, 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 hey. How dare you stop my son? Please. 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 What did you do to my son? Huh? Huh? My queen! My queen! My queen! Huh? Huh? I, I saw I saw his skin. Do 
Bring life place with lots of water. I, I don't know what happened. Please get again. He's in a bad shape. I don't know if he's dead or alive. Hi, oh, what is going on? It is hard to find. Mama bia kenelio. Akuko mo. Where do I find the love of my life? I need you. I need you. I need you right now. Mama bia So restless. If you need It's hard to find.